Errors in the laboratory may occur during measurement or the analytic procedure. These errors may either be random error or systematic error. Errors that occur in the laboratory can cause a measured value to differ from its true value, and these errors may be encountered during the analytical process. That's why the measurement errors that happen in the laboratory are also known as analytical error or experimental error. The two types of analytical errors in the laboratory are either random error or systematic error, and both of these types of error affect the system's accuracy. The first type of error is random error, and as the name implies, these are different types of error that occur randomly or by chance. These types of errors in measurement lead to measured values being inconsistent when repeated measures are taken. Random errors are unpredictable events in measurement, therefore giving no trend or no means of predicting its occurrence. Random error affects precision. Random errors are accidental in nature and are difficult to control. Examples may be the mislabeling of a sample by a medical technologist, pipetting error by a new technologist, improper mixing of a sample by a tired laboratory technician, voltage fluctuations by power shortage, or temperature fluctuations from different technical problems. Let's say that, for example, this sample was tested with fibrin clots, and another sample was tested with temperature variation. This sample was tested with matrix problems, and this sample was tested due to handling techniques of pipetting. And this last sample was tested with operator variables. All of these different measurements would give a scattered plot because of the different causes of the errors. If a random error occurs, the same mistake may not be made again. The different Westgard rule violations for random errors would be 12S, 13S, and R4S. And again, random error gives poor precision, has non-specific causes, and are not reproducible. The second type of error is systematic error. These types of errors are predictable and happen all the time. They remain constant throughout the different tests and are seen to give a trend in the data. They affect the accuracy of the test. Systematic errors are problems in the measurement system. Examples would be improper calibration, deterioration of reagents, and sample instability. The plot given by systematic errors are relatively near with each other because of the same cause. All the Westgard rules that indicate trends identify systematic errors. Examples are 22S and 41S. Again, systematic errors give poor accuracy, they have a definite cause, and they are reproducible. And that gives a summary for random and systematic errors. Hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.